Yo, yo, what up, YouTube? This video is going to be different from usual. Not too many cuts in it. All of the chats between Herc and I are going to be in this video. Nothing is going to be cut out from that. And we'll just see how this game goes. Buckle up, it is a long one. Herc didn't get hog. This is a start that can happen, but you lose wave pressure if the enemy eight, uh, support picks up hog, I mean. Which is what happened here. A uh, little unfortunate. I still get that gilded arrow proc. Dump my one, though. That was a great pull combo. And I end up getting first blood. My one so far have not been the greatest. Should not have used them. Other than that, though, the lane's going well. Had a little hiccup in the first wave. Let's try to see if we can get those harpies. You, uh, Rough two placement. We're just got to kill in mid. We see Vimana, so there's no way that he can contest this. Gev's coming back. He decides to not deal with it. When I'm playing Horus, the build that I like going for is Tiny Trinket instead of Attack Speed Ring. But I wanted to see how it felt, because uh, I really never do this. I almost always go into... Uh, early life steal. End up getting another kill. Herc has war flag. So we're getting some move speed here. Just barely had enough to pick off that Rama. We take those. I'm a little nervous. I don't think Vimana showed up for that red. And that's what I was thinking the whole time. Like, he could be here. Taking this scorpion is risky even. Because like I said, I didn't know where he was on the map. And there I was about to say not going to risk it. But uh, I said returning to base, so that's all that he needed to know. Demonic Grip is, I think, the worst ring that you could start off with. Uh, I just got it because I had the perfect amount of gold. And I wanted to try to snowball this lane. So finishing an item early on can be good. Okay, we get another kill. That is my ult. Unfortunate. <laughs> or just gets a little, a little upset with what's Herc, what Herc is typing. I can't do anything. I have to straight line. Horus is straight up just sitting still because he was typing to our D-bag Herc. And I hope you guys realize that he is too. But he said Olo is running from me. If I turn around there, I die faster. You cannot stop anything from Vimana when he's in his ult. That was a really weird way of putting that, but... Herc was acting as if I, I turn around, he magically saves my life. Like there's nothing that he could do. Look at what he's typing. I hate these people. I swear to God. I wanted his stream info too. He never gave it. He said, here's a mute. I don't know what kind of stuff this guy's on. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, are you talking to me or the Horus? He does not make that clear at all. And he's typing some really weird shit. Oh yeah, by the way, Vimana is one of Oleron's hardest counters. 
I'll give you a couple of really good examples why uh, when it shows up, but is whenever you're playing Olo and there's a Vimana in the game, just know, man, at least build one defense item because I regret not doing it. <laughs> He's going to smoke your soul. Especially a fed one. If you have no counterplay to it. I still got that Harpy. I'm getting rotated on by their jungle. Get Blink ults me. That's Rama's ult. Vamana hits me up with the Umbrella Toss. And I got a dip. Okay. So now I can't play the game. All that I can do, type out what was used and just wait. I'm getting froze on. Which is super try hard. This, I can understand why this Rama did this though. Like I have four kills and he was building for ability based this game. Like you guys will see towards the end. But like he's playing correctly. You can't even fault the guy. Yeah, there's, there's going to be no return ganks, nothing coming my way for a bit. So I just got to try to farm. Luckily, he didn't get a super good freeze, and he kind of shoved it. Someone on the other team I, got am impressed. I went for Pythags because it was another perfect back for me. And I was like, health could help me for living through Vamana's damage. But like, this, this is so bad, man. Big mistake. He's able to blink on me now. I should not have been by tower line. Like it's it's just filthy though how that character can do that. I hate playing up against Vamana early game. His ult makes him invincible. And he has good CC with that knockup, his one. But yeah, I I could have gotten out of that situation by myself. For sure. I just think that's irritating how the jungle can have that big of an impact on me like that. Okay. Your middle tower is under <laughs> yeah, here we go. Like, I really don't like you, Herc. The guy wasn't going to come over to my lane ever again. I knew that it was going to be that way. That's just how it goes, man. <laughs> yeah. I tossed a little BM at him. I didn't type that at Tia Matt. I was typing it before she even started. So. Okay. You did yep. phenomenal. She might have thought that I typed that towards her, but 100% it was not. My build is not looking good at all, though. And this is the tragic part. When you do stuff like this, like I tried to snowball because I thought that we'd be able to just dominate my lane. And it's still going all right, but just the demonic grip, it's going to hurt until I get another damaging item online. And I was trying to tell Horus, like, yeah, we should probably try to fight this. But we most likely both would have died there. I don't know. I just wanted to try to fight it out. And Horus ends up dying. Ankh would have been a huge pickup. I don't think anybody got it this game. That was an interesting interaction. Vamana didn't get knocked up by Tiamat's too. The guy's six and zero. Freaking animal. I auto-toed 
and I freaking killed them with the help of the tower, but those guys are cheese balls. I could not step out of my tower, man. That's just how the game goes. It's part of the reason why I hate playing ADC. If you play jungle, none of this can happen. You don't have to deal with any of it. <laughs> like, you just farm minions. Or you're the person that's doing it to the other people. And I was like, yeah, this is where I decided. I was like, you know what? Th this dude is pissing me off. I was thinking about, like, all the garbage that he was typing. He cleared midway, by the way. I don't know if you guys saw that. But he solo cleared mid, and now he was doing mid harpies when there was a gank happening, and he could have been a part of it. Now he backs as they're trying to run away. Such a goon. I can tell you right now, people like this hurt. The only thing, the only kind of player that's worse than him is somebody who runs it down mid, who just intentionally feeds. Like, it is... It's so tragic. Don't worry, champ. I'm sure you helped. <laughs> but hey, whatever. Still getting some farm. I don't want to play too aggressive. I have no idea where really any of them are. Geb's in mid, Jong's left. Vamana is the scary one, though. Horus is, he's trying to make an aggressive play, and I'm like, dude, I don't think it's worth it. Then I try coming around, rapping, it's so, this is tragic. I really wish he would have just let me farm. Here's Vimana again. We just gotta wait. Playing up like that, we just lose. Here's where I try telling him. Like, I effed up too. I, I should have just let him die. I should have cleared that wave, ran away. Ran straight to T2. But, um... That was just my fault. I hate this god now. Freaking Geb. He ends up living. Or does he? I actually forgot if Tiamat lives. I guess she does. Now, Ring of Hecate, that's like the first good item that I bought all game. <laughs> Demonic Grip and Pythags, it's just awful for the situation that I'm in. Like, I'm starting to fall behind, so my mid game isn't going to be as strong. The Demonic isn't going to be doing too much. Look at this freaking corn ball. That will not do. No. Your team has destroyed a left enemy house. I think we could have went for the scorpion there. I just didn't want my tower to go down. Because if my T2 drops, like I'm getting dove every day of the week if I step anywhere outside of the Phoenix. I don't know how my two went there. Like I had my camera almost fully extended and somehow my two dropped. I know they're coming for me. Like I can't turn around and run. I am going to die. So I have to commit. I end up getting the Rama. That's the best thing that I can do. Look at that. There's three people over there. Like diving that Rama guaranteed the best play. 
such a loser, man. <laughs> Kirk is such a bum. Amazing, truly. <laughs> POS is short for piece of shit, if you guys didn't know. <laughs> Retreat left lane. Yeah, and here's where I try asking him. Yeah, I would love to see what's going on. Like, what this guy's talking about. How he's even typing this garbage. Like I really do. He never does, though. He doesn't tell me his YouTube. He doesn't tell me his Twitch. I don't even know if he has a YouTube, but... <laughs> So true. <laughs> Freaking dirt bags everywhere, man. I need more people to play with, though, man. Like, One Eyed King, he's a pretty cool guy. And I've been playing with him a lot recently. I think grouping up in a five man and just doing wacky stuff all day is just, it's so much better than having to deal with somebody like this. Someone on the other team got <laughs> like this one, Mana has been living in, in our right side jungle. I just wanted to get that wave and then we could go to gold. I was hoping that our team would rotate. They're still trying to push up though, which is strange. Good Aegis from Raijin. I missed a couple autos. I'm critting though. Jong is split pushing. Nice job. Jumping my two there was worth. I don't know why I didn't. Okay. Almost level 20 here. Amazing. Truly. <laughs> this sucks. Look at this team at. She just soloed my wave, proxied it from me. It's like, alright, whatever, dude have the farm you can have that purple too that was a real bummer I still hit level 20 though off of this purple not the end of the world I wanted to back for my starter upgrade the mana's stepping in the wrong side of the neighborhood now this used to be your, your neighborhood. It's the thing that sucks. When you go Olo ADC, you have no way to get anti-heal. Going to Vine, it feels terrible. I, will war. You I mean, like, it's, it's miserable compared to... Say I went okay. Divine instead of Telkines. Divine instead of Pythax was probably the better choice. Just from how this game was going. It was a struggle to try to get our team grouped. So I don't know. Maybe I should have swapped that. But like, it, it does give you survivability. And just another aura for the team. I think Olo is one of the best gods to get uh, Pythags on. That's just my opinion, though. Mm, I pre beats the stun. Should not have done that. He wasn't going to kill me. I was just afraid of getting blinked on by other people, too. Nasty horror assault. We take those. Clean up, crew. This 
This is a free FG. Perks over there doing back camps. If you go back and watch where this guy has been, like, it'll blow your mind. He is. He's doing it intentionally, too. I'm almost certain. He's split pushing right. The whole team should be grouped. We should all be trying to group up. Like, all right, right tower is a good call. We could go left to right. Looking back on it, that was the better call because gold would have spawned by the time we got three of the towers. Or been close to spawning. Herg backed. This guy is. He's he's intentionally trolling the game. We are playing a man down, basically. Horus is ulting. That sucks. He just tossed us further away from Nike, and we tried running down of a mana for some reason. He's, uh, he's one for two. I was just trying to shove it down my team's throat saying, yeah, let's let's get towers and they continuously want to fight. There's the Rama ability based build. Freaking filthy just practically two shot me. Raijin's slow was on me, so I think the Runeforged uh, buff damage got on. It was applied. There is no stopping our might. Such a scummy strategy. We really are though. This game was a 4v5. Be careful, middle. Tiamat's over and right. We can never get five people within 10 feet of each other. There goes Herc again, backing for no reason. I already know. I knew at this point. I was like, yep. <laughs> we gotta do this. This is my problem. I just try too much. Like our teammates even pinging him out. Hit him up with that 667 crit. Uh, I think I need to take Olo 2 off instant. I'm pretty sure I have it on that. Hmm. This just sucks, dude. Yep. 100% deserves to get reported by our whole team. Unfortunate. There is no stopping our might. I don't know. If you see him in a game or something, don't even don't even try to acknowledge him. You know, if he does this shit in your game, just mute him. But who knows? He could have just had a bad day. Not eating anything. Now he's sitting here just trying to piss people off in a game. Maybe he's not always a D-bag. <laughs> TMS voice pack is so stupid. Oh my god. I want to go for the purple. Vamana is just an assassin. Farewell. 
Freaking took my lunch money too. Turned me upside down, just <clears throat> shook me. Yeah, there. I think I was thinking about that. Or I probably checked to see if my alt was on instant cast. Because it didn't go off, but it was because of the knockup. Or maybe not the knockup. I don't even think that I reacted quick enough. <laughs> this guy does damage. Demonic is helping out with his Geb. Damn it, I couldn't get the auto off, man. I choked it. Another blank used. Oh, Jesus, get off me. There we go. We take those. Eric's still over and right. Did somebody report that guy? Thanks, 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 thanks. Mm. Feels so bad. I tried picking Geb because I knew that the fight wasn't going to be a 5v5. And really, I think I should have saved my ult. I also thought okay. that there was a minion behind me. I remember that. Unfortunate. Like, yeah, Herc is probably dead. I'm going to try to follow Nike. Nike ends up getting a kill. She's greeting for this Geb, though. Not a good call. And Vimana's going to end the game. Uh, can't do much there. That was, that was a poorly placed ult by me and Horus. My ult didn't do too much, and his ult just pulled us further away from the fight. It's unlucky, man. This was a super long game, though. Yeah, just look at some of the stuff that this guy types. He he types to me after the game, and I'm going to put that in. Yeah. Let's look at this little freaking D-bag. It, it's so stereotypical. All these people are like this. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you want to see next, and I'll see you there. Peace.